Hello! Copilot released an update just a few days ago and I want to test with you a feature in particular that is create workspaces. They say you can ask in the chat to create a workspace, it will first generate a folder structure here and later you can click a button I guess to actually create the project with the mentioned files. So let's jump on VS Code and let's give it a try. First of all let's open Copilot chat and then here we can ask to create a workspace. Let's start simple. Let's say react app and let's see what it generates. Sure, here's the proposed directory for react app. So my app will have a public folder with index, the usual app.js, here are some components, some styles and yeah, it makes sense. It also contains the VS Code folder. So let's try to actually create the workspace. We can create it here and okay, so as you can see here, it is actually generating my React app, mm, okay, I didn't specify the name, so I guess it generated it for me. So this is the actual folder it created, my React app, with the name I can find here, with this folder structure. I can see it contains everything, also the dot 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 files, package.json, React 16, with create React app, not with it. Anyway, that was a simple case, let's try another one. I can again open the Copilot chat and let's try to be slightly more specific this time. Create a React app with TypeScript, Vit, Vitest, and some GitHub actions to run the test. Let's see what happens. Oh, also I forgot to give it a name. Um, yeah, let me show you. So my response got filter. Put down if this shouldn't have happened. Let's put down. Can I do this again? Yeah, okay. So let's try it again. I'm testing it the first time with you real time. And looks like this isn't working right now. Well, let's try to make it more simple. So let's try only with TypeScript and call it my TS app. Let's see if the name is correct. Yes, the name is indeed correct. So basically it says that this is the simple case and I can just run create react app with template TypeScript. Yeah, it makes sense. So let's keep this for now and let's try to create a quick application with TypeScript. Ooh, this got filtered. That's interesting, right? I mean, there's still room for improvement as you can see, but Let's let's keep trying. An open source npm package with GitHub actions to run the test node package. Okay, let's see the result. My npm package it has a test folder, and yeah, it has a GitHub with workflows and test.yaml. Also some instructions. Cool. Okay, it basically explains how it generated this structure, which is cool. It explains package.json and everything else. Oh, cool. There's also the GitHub action. This, this is quite complete. I uh, will probably take some time to read it through carefully, but at the first glance, it seems correct. And let's create a workspace. Okay, so again, it actually takes some time time. I don't know if it's generating it for the first time. Maybe it's just reevaluating what it generated first. As you can see, each file actually is taking a few seconds. I mean, that's, that's get ignored. should be probably faster unless it's generated um, real time, every single line. Then I kind of understand why it takes this long. Okay, so after 30 seconds roughly, it generated this folder structure with all the files. I can see that TS config kind of makes sense. We have package.json, obviously, with some extra info. As I mentioned that the project has to be open source. It contains a license, links for bugs on page, and jest, because I asked to have some test suite. It has a license, good, and yeah, some <laughs> tests. It has the workflow, which is probably the same it generated earlier in the chat. 
But I mean, it's kind of useful if you want to just start a project and also to have an idea of a popular folder structure, it might make sense. And um, okay, this folder is empty or has this kind of placeholder, which again, makes sense. And source, hello world. Is the test correct? Ah, <laughs> no. Okay, so if for example, I try to npm install here, I would probably expect the test to fail, but it's interesting because, yeah, I mean, it created a function, it imported that same function here, the path should be correct, but it probably didn't have context on what it generated here because here it returns hello world, while here has just, this is just wrong. Also expected zero arguments, yeah. Mm. One more thing I want to try is to create a workspace with Husky setup. Actually, I created a video about Husky a few weeks ago, but let's see how Copilot generates basically my entire video in a single chat message. Node project with Husky on pre commit, doing breeder and lint on pre push running tests with jest. And let's see what happens. Okay, my node project has some tests. Oh yeah, I also forgot I wanted to run this only on the files on the stage area. So on the staged files. Let's see if it adds something like lint staged or similar libraries. And let me see. Hmm. Looks like it didn't. It's quite similar to the other one. But I think everything else looks reasonable. So let's give it a try. And again, after roughly 30 seconds, this is the result. I can see it has a package.json and link stage is here. So it actually added link stage. That dependencies have everything I actually asked. And yeah, that's probably just a simple demo. We have the tests, which makes sense. Actually, I might try to run npm install and then run the test. And ASCII, pre-commit, pre-push. Hmm, that's interesting. So everything else seemed kind of correct, but the ASCII setup, hmm, it is, it is not. To give you an idea, that's how pre-push and pre-commit ASCII files should look, which is <laughs> quite different from the, the ones generated by Copilot. But I'm also curious about the test, so I run npm install and let's run npm run test. <laughs> let's see what happens. And yeah, that's... Oh, okay, that's, that's actually a JSON file saved as JS. Let's see if we consider it as a JSON. Let's try to run the test again. Maybe it works this time. And yeah. Okay, so JSON file that was saved as a JavaScript file. And some tests are actually failing. But again, if you remember that first example we had, the test was actually entirely different from the function itself. So that's kind of okay. Some of, the, some of those were right. But actually, we don't really care about the test here. It was just uh, an example. The goal was to get the folder structure right. Now that you know that you have some files here, you can test them there. Um, let's give it 5.5 uh, out of 10. There's room for improvement, but that's not a final product yet. But it's cool. They're experimenting and yeah, I mean, I'm really happy that they're trying to expand this Copilot chat, adding more and more features so that they can see what works, what doesn't work, and we'll get a better product in the end. A question you might have after watching this simple demo is why would I need to create a workspace with AI when I can in fact just use the CLI that most common tools already have? For example, if you want to bootstrap a, an Astro project, well, you have the Astro CLI, which generates that scaffolding just for you. And you're probably more sure that the structure is correct, while the generated by the AI might be sometimes be wrong. So that's a good question, actually. 
And what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you see some interesting usage for this create workspace feature. Something that I can think of is if you want to intertwine different frameworks or some specific libraries or tools, you can try to ask Copilot to actually generate a project that already has all of them. So what do you think? Just let me know in the comments down below if you see some cool usage. And yeah, that was everything for today. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and see you in the next one. Bye.